What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Cut her off again and I'll slit her throat. Oh! Excuse me! Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough! I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moors and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring more back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then, I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No, you will remain here. And Mem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions.
Mom, have you ever been here before? No, this place is a rental pumpkin. It was just for the party. Oh, do you know what happened? No, that's what we are here to find out. But we have to be very careful. Do you remember our rules for when we go out? Yes, I become invisible and don't touch anything. That's a big girl attitude. You can walk around as long as you don't stray too far. And if there's any sign of trouble, I wait for you outside? That's it. We make a great team, Sweet Fangs. The police are here. Shit. That's a bad sign. Remember what we said. No wandering off. Yes, Mom. I'm a big girl. <sighs> okay, then. Where are you, Richard? Stop! You can't come through here! Hi, uh, I live in the building, and I was told to come give a statement. You need to go down to the precinct to give your statement, ma'am. Only law enforcement is allowed here. Oh, I hadn't understood that. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. There's no way I'm gonna get access if I'm not one of them. You shouldn't be out, and especially not here. Move along, please. This isn't rocket science. Keep it simple. I'll update the guys. You're taking over the investigation. You shouldn't be out, and especially not here. Move along, please. Exactly. Do you have any idea what happened? It's got to be some kind of cult, right? At the moment, we're more inclined to think it's a terror. You shouldn't be out, and especially not here. Move along, please. shouldn't be out, and especially not here. Move along, please. 